Welcome Cancer to reading. So before we begin, I'd like to say that I've already prayed and shuffled over the cards. So let's jump right into your monthly reading. So the overall theme or focus for you is this karmic completion. So there's still something that's going on karmically um, with you or either, you know, someone or something that uh, you've been dealing with that has happened even since April, okay? Um, you really want to let go and overcome this. It's as if you want to just get it done, right? Like if it was a perfect world, um, that, that the karmic situation would be completed. Now, I see here personal growth, so the thing is, is that you're actually learning. So whatever this karmic lesson is, you're still going through it and you're actually learning something from, um, you know, like letting go um, and having like this sense of stress that is happening with you. Um, also, it's teaching you to say no, okay, so that um, you can set healthy boundaries uh, especially towards this karmic okay also we have teaching and learning and what i'm getting with this is that there is some sort of change here okay in regards to being adventurous or doing something new but in reality you're really blocked up okay you're feeling alone and you really feel like nobody uh cares and i know th that's like an extreme right so so what's going on, Cancer? So far, you know, you really feel like you know that you need to let go of something, you know, because I know that Cancer, um, you know, maybe you hold on to something too tightly and it's just, it's okay to let go. So if you do, that's about your personal growth. It's about letting go of a karmic situation. So maybe low-key, you didn't realize that you were actually holding on to a karmic situation. Okay, so also we have here love, but it came up in reverse. So this is about you uh, avoiding conflict. Okay, um, maybe this is about expressing your feelings. So there must be something here. I mean, I'm getting automatically, this could be about family. Maybe there's a situation between you and a family member where you guys are just kind of like not accepting each other, um, learning to release and let go and, you know, really learning from it. Okay. Because I really feel like for the longest time you had a hard time of forgiving, uh, this particular person. But, um, the other thing I'm also feeling is that if this is a love interest, maybe the karmic lesson here is to let go of this particular person. Because if you love them unconditionally, you wouldn't hold on to them so tightly. Okay. It's okay to release and let go. Maybe the timing just wasn't right. And you're really conflicted because you're having to realize that you need to let go of a love situation and um, really embracing the spiritual lesson or the spiritual aspect of you letting go. Because that is actually uh, teaching yourself to be more open to energies that, you know, is actually open towards you. So, um, if you're really blocked, I would say, you know, and you're receiving this message, um, really free yourself from being stuck on a particular narrative, okay? That way, new energies can flow right to you. So let's see what is going on with your love life. So I see here, let your friends help you, but it's in reverse. So, um, you're, you're just not letting anyone in. Even if your friends wanted to extend an offer and kind of help you out, you're just not having it. Okay. Also, we have a past life relationship. So I feel like, um, this could be something in the present moment and getting to know each other. You don't want to get to know anybody. And I also see her flirt. So you're flirting with this idea. Um, of opening up, but you're, you're just not in that vibration. So I don't know, cancer, is there someone of your past that you have a hard time of letting go? So you're still entertaining this person, but you know that it's not going to, you know, um, go deeper. 
Okay, I really feel like this is more of a surface level relationship between you and someone else. And you want to just really detach. Okay. Um, that's what I'm saying. You're really conflicted about detaching and love because you really want to keep someone, but it's actually hurting you. Okay. Because there's something you need to learn. I mean, I really feel like your friends are trying to tell you something, but you're just not listening. So let's go ahead and see what is the energy. Between you and this person. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to cancer and their love interest? How do you guys currently think? How do you feel? What is it that you both want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy here? Please Spirit for cancer in the month of May. So I see here that your person is feeling hopeless and they're kind of bored, okay? Because they're feeling conflicted with other people like in a house and maybe, you know, they just feel like um, they don't belong. Now, I see that with you. You haven't been completely honest with this particular person because of uh, some sort of change. So there's something that's going on, right, between you and someone else. But when it comes to like this um, home environment, things are not, um, I don't know, the energy is off is what I'm hearing. Now, how do you guys feel? So your person is feeling like you know, they're on cloud nine over here and they want this reunion with you. However, you're the one that is actually being rigid. So cancer, I mean, this is about you. You don't want your friends to help you. Um, also, you know, you're trying to learn something here. And I feel like it's about letting go, okay, of someone, you know. And I do see that they're trying but there's something about your energy about holding on to like a grudge or a situation now what is it that you guys want so um maybe they made the wrong choice you know i see your queen of cups as your energy You've always been supportive of them, but I feel like you guys will get into an argument over something. And I see that you're trying to break free. You're trying to release and let go of the situation. So I feel like in this month, this month is about letting go of someone. It's the hardest decision that you've had to make is what I'm hearing. You still want to keep this person around, but you know that's not helping you. This person feels like a failure. You know, maybe you guys had made some sort of argument about maybe you not really opening up towards them and what else can they do? You know, I'm hearing um, like a discussion between you and this particular person where you guys are not seeing eye to eye. Now, in the outcome, I see that um, they're confident that they can offer you something more. They're working on it. They're trying to release their fear and tell you the truth, but you just doubt. Okay, why? Because of karmic lesson. Now, I really feel like, you know, Maybe your your person is working on releasing a karmic, okay? That could be a thing. Um, for some of my cancers watching this, maybe it's you that needs to let go of a karmic so you can open up uh, to this person. I mean, the energies can go both ways, but I definitely see that there is a third party that's interfering in this connection. But at least I see that your person is wanting to work on it, okay? So they will eventually get a divorce, okay? So they can have a new beginning with you but you just feel like you're not good enough so it's like you know you guys can't win right there's always like a you know an energy like when somebody is um doing well okay the other person feels like crap you know whenever you're feeling like you know you're doing well the other person is feeling like crap so there's still like um kind of like an imbalance but ultimately i see that if your person is in a relationship they will choose to get out of it
okay, to approach you, but you still feel like you're not, I don't know, you feel like you're, you're just not opening yourself up. You feel like you have to let this person go. Why? Because the karmic situation isn't over. But I see that they will, you know, and I would say, you know, hey, you know, wait until things play out and see if they actually will go through it. But this is what's going on this month. And that seems pretty heavy, guys. All right. So what are the messages that Spirit has for your career in finance? So I see her growing up and it says it's time to step up into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This this mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make on your own. So it's time to grow up, right? Also, we have an entertainer. Put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so that you can get noticed. You could be drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or any type of entertainment. Is there a talent that you can turn into money? Time to think outside the box. So if you're in the entertainment industry and you've been doing it like, you know, kind of as a hobby or you're, you're slowly getting into it, I would, you know, maybe this is your time to grow up and, and just go for it. Okay. Try to get out of the house um, is what I'm saying. Also, we have legal. You might have to take care of some legal matters related to financial issues. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter. This is a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. So, yeah, just be on the lookout, okay? And then finally, we have options. Many options are becoming available to you now or flooded by too many ideas. Do, do not get stuck in doubt. When an offer presents itself, seize the moment. Create multiple streams of income. So this is the thing, Cancer. Um, you know, it's time for you to get out of your comfort zone. You may have to deal with some legal stuff, but you have options, okay? And there's multiple streams of income that you can generate, okay? If you're doing one thing, you can do entertainment on the side. Or, you know, maybe if you guys are into some sort of legal um, situation, if, you know, you're um, working in law, Okay. Now it does look like, you know, you could receive or maybe um, you have to handle some financial issues. Okay. So just be on the lookout for that. But there, there are going to be doors that are opening for you. Okay. Um, so just, just kind of be open. Okay. Now, finally, the final message just that Spirit has is to do a health checkup. Take charge of your health and schedule your annual checkup. And also we have throat chakra. Throat chakra is out of balance and have a relaxing bath. Adding some bath salts or lighting candles can help restore yourself and finally celebrate yourself. You've come a long way. Take a moment to celebrate you. You know, um really focus on your health. You know, I think that I did, I think it was Leo's reading health is wealth, you know, and also this throat chakra, you know, I feel like having a relaxing bath, put some essential oils in there to help, you know, opening up your throat, um, would be ideal. So that could be peppermint or, um, maybe eucalyptus. Okay. To kind of, um, relax you and put you in that state. But yeah, I really feel like cancer, there is a karmic situation that you need to close out and it's the energy of releasing and letting go and not really holding on to X, Y, and Z and um, really trying to take matters into your own hands. Okay. It's going to be rough, but you can do it. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can actually get 10% off using the coupon code MOM. The link is in the description box below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.